This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Lee says, why did it take so long to have a British Royal champion? Of course, he's talking about Drew McIntyre. I'm sure the only other person who maybe had a sniff at it before was the British bulldog, right? Well, I, I always, <sighs> that's just funny to me. Um, Drew Scottish, I guess United Kingdom. He's not British. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I, 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 well, I, I, here's the follow up. I guess he's really asking. Will the UK ever host one of the big four pay-per-views again? I know you weren't there for SummerSlam 92. And I know the story is SummerSlam 92 did not do well on pay-per-view. And a lot of people think that's because of the tape delay. Is that really the primary reason that we, we didn't see more international pay-per-views? Like there wasn't a WrestleMania in London, so to speak. Um, expense. You got to get everybody over there. Right. It's quite expensive. You, you've got travel, you've got equipment, you have technology differences. And the, the, that expense, when you look at, you know, time change and everything else, if live is a big selling point for pay-per-view. Yes, it is. And if you're doing something at, noon on Sunday that you're used to getting at six or seven in the evening, there's just going to be less buy just in general. And the cost is definitely just a lot higher. Adam Arpin says, does Bruce ever get to, uh, or has he ever gotten to head to Foxwoods or Mohegan sun? If so, any fun stories, those are casinos in Connecticut, by the way, Bruce, you've lived up there on and off for a long, long time. You ever hit those casinos and have some fun stories? I hit them with you and Eric Bischoff when, uh, in 2019, we did our, our show up there and that was an awful lot of fun, Yes, it was. but I, other than work, no, never did the, the guy that was, first of all, he was a athletic commission in the state of New York, Randy Gordon. He was also with the magazine Inside Wrestling and The Wrestler. He may have been an editor or something like that. Uh, but he was the first entertainment and sport or sports and entertainment director of, I believe, Mohegan Sun back in the day. Uh, Josh says, What character is closer to the real personality of Vince McMahon? The Mr. McMahon character or Vince McMahon, the commentator and host. Oh God, Mr. McMahon, the character. No, miss, that's not a character. <laughs> Just like, Hey, go Vince. This guy did this. Go do what you would do. It writes itself. Josh Rado says, I'd love to know what went into deciding to do away with the traditional survivor series style matches that happened in 1992. Hated it. Uh, in, in 92, I wasn't there. Was I? Uh, yeah. You had just come back. I just come back. But, but the deal is, you know, you moved away from teams of five strive to survive and there's this elimination thing and blah, blah, blah. And you just started to do away with that process slowly, but surely the feeling was, was that attractions are what are what sell and personal issues and <laughs> to get back to the championship matches and having a feature match. Um, the feeling was by marketing and promotions and Vince and everybody that you unanimously with the exception of Pat and myself, they felt we needed more than just this concept. And so we started doing matches. Um, I would, I would say until, <laughs> you know, and until the very end, Pat, like the, the concept matches as did I. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.